Hi, I'm going to have a rant about YouTube playlists because as a content creator, it is one of the most frustrating features or lack of or underutilized features in all of YouTube. And it just, ah, uh, it, it just annoys me so much that YouTube are not taking playlists seriously. And let me show you why. I've been creating videos on YouTube for almost 13 years now. I've been a full-time YouTube content creator for almost 11 years now, and they have not fixed this. And it's so frustrating. Let's uh, look, right? Here's my main EEV blog channel, okay? Sure, okay. They've got this tab up the co top. It's called Playlists. Now, because I'm a very eclectic uh, channel, I've built up my audience based on a huge variety of different content. Now, this may not apply to all YouTubers. Some YouTubers just make the same con style of content over and over and over again, and they have absolutely no use for playlists, and that's fine. But for content creators like me that do create a whole, like dozens, literally dozens of different styles of content. And here's all of my playlists, okay? You can actually go and see them, okay? And I've got, like, check them out, right? These are all the different playlists. And I've spent the last, I don't know, when did playlists start? Uh, anyway, I've spent the last like decade or more, like 12 or 13 years, carefully putting every one of my like 1800 different videos or however many I have into all these different playlists. But hardly anyone uses or even knows about play that playlists actually exist. And let me actually um, show you how many people, how many views I actually get from playlists. And then we'll go into why this is not the case, okay? Here's my channel analytics here for my main uh, channel here. So I've got, uh, what is it, 28 million total impressions um, in the last 28 days. That's impressions. That means it's been like displayed uh, to people either on like the search results or the pages or whatever but my actual views there they are they're one and a half million views there okay and watch time 216,000 hours right great and look most of my content 687,000 views comes from the browse features so that's from the home page uh, subscription like and subscribe you know give it a thumbs up do the bell notification all that sort of stuff we, we tell you that for a reason and I'll go into a, another reason why that's not enough these days. Anyway, su suggested videos is my second most uh, popular way. 25% almost of uh, my views come from YouTube actually suggesting my content. So this is the al the algorithm uh, trademark and deciding whether or not it's going to bless me with some, you know, to feature my video in search results or suggested videos or something like that. And then there's uh, people searching is the third most. 10% of my views come from that. And then external uh, stuff like my web page and stuff like that. 5.5% of views or if my video is embedded on some other web page. But I believe most of that comes from my uh, website, evblog.com. Link down below. And then that's another 5% from from channel pages from YouTube, either mine or other uh, channel pages, di direct or unknown, not known, other YouTube features. Oh, <laughs> traffic wonder that doesn't fall in any other categories. Uh -huh. And then notification views uh, from notifications and emails sent to subscribers. So only 1.4% of my views apparently come from people clicking the emails uh, that, you know, supposedly are sent to people like notifications or to your phone or whatever. But most of my people actually view, most of my viewers actually view on desktop, by the way, um, the, the majority, not these newfangled shoe phone things. Anyway, only 1.4% of my traffic comes from subscribers. So it's almost as if YouTube aren't sending out notifications. <gasps> We're all shocked. No YouTubers shocked. Anyway, um, yeah, it's at 1.4%. Are you kidding me? I know that a huge percentage of my uh, audience are subscribed. I've got 850,000 subscribers and only 1.4% come from there anyway. These are all mini rants in their own right. And here it is. Finally, we get down to playlists. 1.3% of my views, or if you, actually uh, this is playlists, this is like, uh, this could be mine or other people's playlists. Um, but this is my playlist page, which I uh, showed you before with all the, you know, the playlist uh, tab or whatever, half a percent. So a combined total of like under 2%, under 2% of my views come from playlists. And why is this a problem? Well, let me show you. Let's use another browser, logged out, don't have a YouTube account. And this is what a, a non-subscriber or even subscribers would see uh, for my videos here. Here's one of my recent uh, debunking uh, videos, right? And 
Where is the playlist? This video is included in the debunking. Let me show you. Here it is here. Here it is. Scroll down here. This is inside my video. It's in the debunking playlist. Here's all my playlists that I have. Every single time I upload a video, I go to the effort to put it in a playlist. Yet YouTube just ignores it and pisses it away, uh, the playlist feature. Nobody ever sees it. Because if you go back to here, where? Where is the playlist? When you're watching one of my videos or one of whoever you follow, any content creator is the same. It's not just me, right? Where, look, it, it, it puts the tags down here, Electronics Creators, which is a uh, tag several of us uh, electronics YouTubers actually put in. Um, so you can have a click on that. And Indiegogo and Marketing. So it puts in the hashtags and stuff. But where is the playlist? Now, I'm sure, I'm not sure how many years ago. Leave it in the comments down below if you know and when they changed this. It, I think the playlist used to show up here. Right, it used to show up here, but now, of course, look, they've got an ad up there, which is fine, right? This is one of you know, part of the way that I um, earn some revenue is like the ads popped up. Here's an ad, you know, quite a relevant ad for uh, Saley.com, the Saley Logic Analyzer, for example. But like, there is nothing else here. There's other recommended videos, of course, some of which are my own, like. Here it is, like other EEV blog videos. Great, okay, thank you. There's a great Scott video. I have no idea who Niall Blue is. It looks like um, some sort of chemistry or something, is it? I don't know. Um, and yeah, great, okay. And here's my second channel as well, right? So they put up good recommendations, but where is the playlist? If you like this content, this debunking video that I've done, where is the playlist? Why? Why, why, why can't they have it right next to the description? Look at all this wasted white space down here. Look, it's all gone. Why can't they have a link that just says, this is part of you know the uh, playlist debunking? And then you click on that and you get all of my debunking videos. Why can't they do that? Why? <laughs> YouTubers have been screaming for this for, you know, ever since time immortal, I think. And it's just, it's just not there. How hard would it be? To put it there, this is why nobody ever sees playlists because hardly anyone goes over to like the actual uh, YouTube channel itself and clicks on this uh, playlist thing here. Hardly anyone. And this is why the metrics are so piss poor that only, you know, less than 2% of my views come from playlists. Come on, <laughs> right? And to a content creator like me who creates dozens of different type of content, this is so incredibly annoying. People subscribe for different reasons. They like different content. Not all my very small percentage of people watch every single one of my videos. They've got their own particular taste. And I'm like that as well. When I watch other uh, YouTubers, I might have a certain style of video that they like, which, you know, I don't care for their other content. And that's fine and dandy. So let's say, for example, you l really liked my DC Fundamentals uh, uh, Hi, tutorial video, okay? If you click here, here it is. It does actually... Uh, show up here. The playlist actually shows up because we're with inside a list. You can see it up here in the URL. So if you go through the playlist, you actually get this feature here. But when you actually stumble across one of my videos, or even if you're a subscriber and you go in and you play one of my videos, you have no idea it's part of a playlist. None whatsoever. You have to go through the playlist before you can see the playlist. Do you see the problem? So why can't YouTube not only on the video page actually put up, not through here, but actually put up just a text link there, a little link that says this is part of a playlist, uh, you know, DC Fundamentals or whatever, and click on it and it takes you to this page which then has all of the stuff here. I can understand they don't want to clutter the sidebar with playlists and that's fine, but how hard is it to put a little link down here somewhere? And for channels like mine that produce a whole range of different content, I'm always asking myself <laughs> ever since day one, should I have multiple channels for everything? Because should I have like just a EEV blog tutorials channel? Should I just have an EEV blog debunking channel? Should I just have an EEV blog repairs channel? Uh, you know, a teardown channel, a mailbag channel, all that sort of stuff. And as it uh, turns out, I've actually only got three. I've got my EEV discover channel, lots of good video here, like, you know, actual uh, some original uh, proof I did that we uh, landed on the moon, for example, a 747. Um, I visited a 747 simulator and lots of NASA stuff and other really cool things, um, you know, on my EV Discover channel. And then there's, of course, my EV Blog uh, 2 channel, which just has a real random eclectic mix of stuff. 
And I've actually uh, polled my audience several times before whether or not I should actually create more channels and s separate the content out um, into the different uh, channels. And the vast majority of people said, no, I'm happy with uh, the three channels you've got now. Please don't make any more and put everything in playlists. Well, I've been putting everything in playlists for like the last 13 years or something, and I'm not seeing any benefit from this whatsoever. It's almost that like the playlist almost not might not exist. Those who seek it out and uh, like want to view playlists, they might actually see on my channel that there's a playlist tab. They might know about it and go in there and uh, seek it out. But uh, basically, um, if you stumble across one of my videos like, like this, you are not going to see. There's no indication at all of playlists on here. So why YouTube? Why can't you like add value? All uh, most creators I know put stuff into playlists, yet it's hidden away. When you stumble across a channel, you want to know that this uh, creator makes different types of like a particular style of content. So make it really obvious, and it'd be really fantastic. Why can't you have a subscribe to playlist button? Like we're inside the playlist here. I've gone to the effort to seek out the playlist. Why can't I subscribe to a playlist? Because like, seriously, how hard is it to code that? A couple of dozen lines of code, maybe, I don't know. But like, how hard would that be to allow people to subscribe to a playlist so that on a very wide ranging eclectic channel like mine, people can subscribe to only the content that they want. They only like, you know, five different types of my videos and just, you know, don't like everything else. So they don't, they shouldn't get alerted to that sort of stuff. Why? Why can't we have a subscribe to playlist button and make playlists prominent on this page? Is it, is it too much to ask? Seriously. Anyway, I rant over. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Is this a good idea? Do you like, should playlists be more visible? Should you be able to subscribe uh, to playlists? Will this help you out as a viewer of an electric, eclectic channel like mine that has a wide, wide ranging uh, style of content? The creators that I watch, I only watch, watch, you know, often certain types of their content. So it'd be great for me to be, just be able to subscribe to the ones I want. So then, uh, you'd, A, you probably don't have to send out as many emails. Your server, your YouTube server doesn't go, uh, because it's got to send out, you know, 20 billion emails or whatever. Um, potentially less, because it only has to um, send out uh, the alerts and notifications for the particular type of content that people watch on a channel. I'm sure there's channels out there that have absolutely no use for playlists and everyone subscribes to watch every single video and that's fine, but come on, all of us creators, here's my dashboard, right? For the last 13 years, I've been sticking things in playlists. Here they all are, right? Video counts, 74 videos in my 74 repair videos I've put in there, 93 in blab uh, videos. Can I can I even sort by that? No, I don't think I can. Um, yeah, and this is not, I've got multiple pages of these, right? 148 videos, 12 videos, 19 videos, 158 videos for product reviews and, and teardowns. I've been carefully categorizing every time I upload. Creators have gone to this effort and YouTube just don't care. They just, the, the playlist feature almost might not exist. For I'm going to all this effort, right? All that stuff's there for a lousy, like less than 2% of my views come from playlists. Come on. If you made it more prominent, I guarantee that would go up by at least an order of magnitude. <sighs> anyway, I had to get that out of my system. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, give it a big thumbs up and install the... Um, uh, dislike counter plugin, which you can get for your browser, so you can still see the dislikes. So anyway, also leave it in the comments down below. Do you seek out and use playlists? Because it's obvious only a very small percentage of people actually do this. Would you want to see it? Is it obvious that I have uh, playlists and all of my content is categorized in there? Would this be a useful feature to you? Let us know down below and hassle YouTube on the Twitters and everything, at Team YouTube. Catch you next time.